So right now I am using a flashed camera, um, which means that the flash is on and if I look completely direct to it, I'm, my eyes are going to be blurry and blind and a little bit weird at the same time. And it's also night time, so this is perfect, but a little, just to get it out there, I like to film during the daytime because I don't have to use a flash. So that's pretty much it, and I'm not going to look directly at it, just focusing here. So as you can see on my face that there is makeup. It could be too heavy or anything at all um, because it may have been um, added on twice, been laid on twice like the brows and there's just a bit of bronzer there. Where I went to was actually Sydney Westfields and it was actually the launch of the Benefits new tint called Lolly Tint and it's a candy or orchid um, tint and the funny thing is I went and decided to have a look to see the colour because one it looks really purple like I was too afraid if it was going to be too purple for me and things like that so I'm just going to go ahead and get started and this is just a little haul so hope you guys continue watching this so here we go first thing I am going to show you is the Maya bag it's right here now you may have seen these a lot I did get something from Maya and one thing only the lolly tint oh yeah the lolly tint. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, I'm joking. But this is lolly tint, and I'm just gonna read you the back of what it says, if I can, because I'm I just look directly at the flash. So it is the floatiest flush you can get from a bottle. Wow. Our Kenny Orchid tint treats your lips and cheeks to a pop of dreamy sweetness. To use, brush three strokes on the apple of your cheeks and blend quickly with fingertips. Repeat on the other side. Dab on lips and blend for extra delicious color. Repeat. So that's pretty much what it is. And down here it says candy orchid tint lip and cheek stain. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Orchid or orchid. Leave a comment down below. See if you and uh, and tell me if I am saying it right. Um. If I'm saying it right with the orchard, it we see H. Well, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, or you can go to my Instagram and tell me a, and leave a video response to let me know. So it's in this little nice little box, and this is the full size. And like, no joke, this is like, like, bes like, like, um, besides the kits I own, this is the first individual full full-size product from benefits I own and that is crazy I mean I have the mini versions of the other tints but not like the full size of them so this is lolly tint and I'm so excited to use it um so basically what this is is a lovely little tint and I love it and as soon as you open it you get this little pamphlet here and it just basically shows you how to apply it. So it's this side. Then on the other side is just pretty much the tips and tricks in different languages. So that's that one. And then what you see here is just right in there, you just pull it up. And that is lolly tint. Now I haven't even opened it yet because I just got it. But look at the packaging. Oh my god. This is just like posy tint and cha cha tint. Uh Ben tint, the packaging on Ben tint is clear and it's a liquid. So can't really try to Oh, just dropped it on the desk. But it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. But yes, this is a tint, and I believe it's going to be exactly like Posey tint creamy, a little thick, 
I believe that's what the consist consistency and the texture is. I actually have some on my cheeks. There used to be some on my lips, but um, I went for I, I just removed it because it was getting like, like it was kind of like uh, it was it stayed on for a very long time, but it was like a little chap, so I had to remove it. And I'm I have on my lips right now the Face of Australia Glossy Lip Crayon in Apple Crumble. So it's just this one. But anyway, that's not the point of the video. This one is lovely. I love it. And you get about, for full size, 12.5 mils or 0.42 um, US flow ounces. It's pretty much what's on the box. So I'm just telling you it specifically on the box. So I have that and I'm so happy that I have it. I mean, I have some on my cheeks. It's just under the bronzer, which is called a bronzer. And I've met another benefit girl. Her name is Carly. If you are watching this, hello. And I've read, I've met my previous um, benefit girl who um, helped me out last time I was there. Her name is Alice. If you're watching this, hello. Um, both of them, they're absolutely amazing girls. I'm not dissing any of the other benefit girls, but I was able to like bond with both of them a lot and I was able to bond a little bit more with the others as well. I mean, they're so friendly. They're so friendly. They're so, like, there's so many things you can describe about them. They're really bubbly. They're really nice. And they, they'll help you. They'll help you. I mean, if you're having a bad experience at a makeup counter, um, my only advice is don't go back there. Find another one that will serve you and be nice to you. The one I went to was in Sydney Westfields and there are two benefit counters. There's the main one and then there's the brow bar. So they so I guess they rotate back and forth, I guess. And I mean they're amazing people. They're absolutely amazing. And I mean there's really not much I can say about them because they're just awesome, awesome girls. And Carly I was able to have a lot of laughs with her. She was fun to talk to. She was absolutely an amazing person. Alice, oh god, we were able to bond quicker than I th than I thought. Um, she is absolutely amazing, and being the same same um, uh, background. And I, I just gotta point this out. She has the same name as my cousin. Hands down. There's there's no I mean, I can get along with people unless they're nice to me and I'll be nice to them. But that's enough with the people right now. So that is just Lolly Tint. And if you're wondering, this was $55. And also if you purchase Lolly Tint, you get I haven't even had it, I haven't even opened it yet. You get a lollipop. And I think she said it was lychee flavoring, I'm not sure. But the thing is, I don't want to open it because <laughs> it looks so cool. It looks really cool. It's got a purple bow and it's got the picture of the boy tent right here. And she said it was lychee flavoring, but I'm not really sure. I don't want to open it. I really don't want to open it. But I may have to. Oh. Anyway, it will be immortalized on Instagram when I take a photo, and it will be there. And it will be here too, because you guys are seeing it. So, you purchase Lolly Tint, you get a lollipop for free. So, this is absolutely cool, and I love it. Alright, so just putting that back in the bag, and my eyes are blind. Like, legit blind, anyway. Alright, next, I went to... The tea place called T2B, and it's pretty much like the tea place, but it's a place where you can um, take away. So you can dine in and take away and stuff. So what I got, it's not here with me right now because it's downstairs in the fridge, so I can drink it later. I wasn't sure which tea I wanted to get, so um, I got his name. I'm just gonna call him Frank because. I mean, that's the shortest way I can get to. I think it was Frederick something. 
If you are watching this, I apologize for getting your name wrong. But yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna call you Frank because that's the easiest way I can remember. I'm so sorry. If you're watching this, I am so sorry. But um yeah, I went to the tea place and I wasn't really sure which tea I wanted to try because I've already had the berry one and it kinda tasted like it was, weird. it was weird because my taste buds are a little bit different to everybody's. And it kind of, instead of tasting like berries, so like fruit and tea at the same time, it tasted like red wine, like strong red wine that I liked. I don't know that, I don't know if it's just me or anything, but it was actually really nice. But anyways, I went there. And if you notice, this little bag is for a macaroon. Well, I did actually buy a macaroon from there. And they had like about five of their best flavors. So there was, um, I can't really remember, but there was the almond one. And I think it had honey in it. Then there was, I think it was black green, black tea. There was strawberries and cream. There was chai. So if you're wondering what chai is, it's like a chai, chai um, like a spicy kind of um, exotic kind. And I don't really know what the other one was, to be honest. But, if you don't know, I picked up the strawberries and cream one because I decided to go along with the theme of Gorgeous Geisha. I call it Geisha for some reason, but it's Gorgeous Geisha. And apparently it is herbal tea or green tea, I can't really remember. I got a really bad brain. With strawberries and cream flavouring. It's not too strong. It's more of like a dash of it which is really nice and apparently it's downstairs getting nice and cool so I can drink it later oh yeah but yep I really love the place and they those guys were absolutely really really nice people I mean they were just really nice and I actually liked um, one of the guys hairstyles it was like um, like the sides he was shaved and then at the top it was like curly hair I really liked his hairstyle Got to tell them that. If you are watching this, cool hairstyle. But yep, I went to T um, T two B and it was really cool. And also the macaroon was amazing. I loved it. It was one word heaven. It was pure heaven. All right, next is I'll just put this back in here. Now I normally wouldn't go here. But I would normally go in here and see if the products are good for me. And if they are, I will get it. I went to, oh yeah, MAC. Oh yeah, I went to MAC. Oh yeah, I went to MAC. Yeah, just do the MAC dance. But there really isn't a MAC dance, so what am I doing? But I did purchase something from there. And it's a concealer. And it's $32. And it is the Studio Finish Concealer with SPF 35. It's this one. See, with the flash of the camera and it's nighttime, I have to aim it up here. Otherwise, it'd be too shiny for you. But I was looking for a concealer that will cover my blemishes. And I have it in the shade NW25. Um, to counteract the redness. So it's on my chin. I don't know if you can see it. But it's on my chin. Like, just focus on the rest of my face. Like, just up here. It's not covered. But the, this concealer is only on my chin. So look at that. And then focus on the rest of my face. To see the difference. I think the flash is making my entire face look like a ghost. And a lot more white. And it appears to be but that's just a flash so I got this now what it comes with when you open it it's like a little pamphlet here a little pamphlet and then you get the actual thing so this is NW25 and it just looks like this it's like really nice it's the camera's picking up a lot lighter than it should be but that's just the camera really anyway 
So I have that, and it's actually my very first Mac purchase. So here we go. I cannot wait to use it. I cannot wait to use it. I'm just so overwhelmed. This is like my first ever Mac pr purchase ever. And never in my wildest dreams will I actually think it will be a concealer. So, I cannot wait to use it. <sighs> I'm so excited right now. Alright. Next, um, Woolworths. Like, when I left Town Hall and it was next to Woolworths, I decided to go in there. And I don't think I've ever said about this lip gloss before. But before NYX, um, before the NYX butter gloss that I declared it my best lip gloss that is a, that is a bow gloss. Before that, there was a lip gloss that I truly, truly loved. And I thought you can only get it online. That's what I thought. It's the Monaco Shine Ultra Lip Gloss. And I only had a little bit of it left, but I was salvaging it. And I didn't want to use it anymore. So, I guess that's the idea of buying a lot more lip products than just replacing it. But, oh my god, I walked into Woolworths just to get hand sanitizer, which is right here. And I just got the Dettol one with Chamonix or Chamonix. Chamonix, something like that. So, I walked in there, oh my god, what, there was a Monaco stand, and it had this, with the other, other, um, shades, and I was like, are you kidding me? I no longer have to go online to purchase this anymore, this is in Showgirl Red, which was the one I had the first time. Oh my god, this is hands down the best smelling lip gloss ever. It smells so good. I love it to death. I got this for $14.95, which is good. So that's that one. I, I'm just going to open it to show you guys so you can see what the lip gloss looks like. So this is what it looks like. And it comes with a mirror as well. So, like a built in mirror. So, that's what it looks like. Look at that. It's really good. And it's Showgirl Red as well. I loved this color so much. I thought you can only get it online. But now I have it right here. And I'm trying to put it back inside the box. If it'll let me. Okay, maybe not. But this is a really good product and I love it so much. It is the best smelling one you'll ever, ever, ever love. <sighs> I'm so in love with this right now. I cannot believe I actually have it on my fingertips right now. Like, that's just insane. That's just insane, guys. Like, pure insane amazing so I have that alright next I went to Supre and this is their new bag because the black one which is right here has been discontinued so if you have the black one save it as a shopping bag or as a tote bag because they're not making any more and is made out of fabric so it's good so this is their new bag and it's just a plastic bag and I went to go and purchase something from there now I was going in there to purchase a boho cape now if you're wondering which one I was gonna get it was birds of paradise but unfortunately they were sold out oh it was so stressing I wasn't happy with it so then um, the girl over there suggested something else for me. Now, this doesn't have a name because the tag kind of came off. But this is not a cape. Um, it, this was, this is the design on the cape as well, but couldn't be, find, couldn't be found. But this is what it is. If you can identify what this is to, for me, it would be much appreciated. So this is the top. 
So this is pretty much what it looks like. At the back it's a little bit longer. And there are wide sleeves. If you can identify what this is for me from Supro, please let me know because um, it is pretty good. Apparently I, I was looking for something that would go well with Colbert blue shorts. That's what was my that was my initiative. So this looked really good with or without shorts. So I'm, I'm happy with it. So I got this. And it was $20 on sale, so it used to be $40, so it was on $20. And this was the last one as well. Got the last one. <sighs> Got the last one. Oh, yeah. So this is what it is. Apparently, it's not a cape, but it's like one... It starts with a K. I think it was a kayak or something. I think it was that. I'm not really sure. But this is what it is. So I just have that one. Uh, and last but not least, I got some samples. Oh yeah, you can never, I mean, you can never have too many, too many samples. So, I decided to take a box with me to, to store my samples in because they were going everywhere. So I just took an empty box with me. And I'm just going to take out my samples, which I have a lot. And... I don't have a lot of samples anyway. So the first one I have are from MAC. And they are the fixed fluid ones. NC20 and NC25. Right here. So NC20. Uh, I don't think it was the show. I don't know if you can read that. That's my... Yeah, so this one is NC20, the fixed fluid. Doesn't want to be shown. Oh, there we go. There wasn't the tester didn't have a lot, so yeah. And this one is in NC25, so it's slightly darker. I should just film in the morning; it'd be better. All right, next I have is Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eye Primer. Next, I have is the NARS Sheer Matte um, Liquid Foundation in Fiji. I don't know if it wants to pick up. The camera's picking it up a lot like colors than usual. Alright, next is the Smashbox Blemish Control Primer. And it's just white. Then I have the, I don't even know what this is. I literally have no idea what this is anyway. Oh, oh, she didn't write down. Okay, so what this one is, is the Hourglass Primer, Vel Primer. She didn't write down, sorry. So this is the Vel Primer. That's that one. And last but not least, um, they were giving out uh, like samples in the pot, in the jar, and it was the um, Kit SPF 30 sunscreen. And I got about three pots of these. I just got about three of those. Um, yeah. And I'm giving two of them to my friends, so that's why I took three. One for myself and one, and the other two are for my friends. So. That is pretty much I got all for you guys today. Last but not least, I will tell you what's on my face. So I have the lolly tint, and then over the top is Havana, which is like the blush. And then over the top, like here is Hula. The brows is Gimme Brow in dark. Trust me, guys. Next time I go back, I'm definitely gonna get Gimme Brow in dark because. Looks absolutely amazing. I never did anything to my brows, so I'm gonna get that. Um, of course, the Mac Studio Fix um, concealer is on my chin. Um, what else? The under eyes here is the Fake Up uh, in medium. 
and oh one last thing guys um i went to the brow bar and i got this side here waxed and trust me guys never felt so smooth never felt so smooth in its entire life i don't know how long it's going to last because it's because everyone, everyone's hair growth is different. And also I got Dr. Feel Good on my oily T-zone. Thanks to Carly. Um, I might go back up there and get it. Because it feels so velvety and soft. I'm not even kidding. My, I have less oil on my oily T-zone right now. And it's absolutely fabulous. I love it. So that is pretty much all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And I might blind my eyes again if I look completely direct to it. But make sure you subscribe as well. Like this video. Comment what you want to see next time on my next video. And have a ball. Anyway. So also I have some people. I don't know them personally. But check out their channel. Subscribe to them. And... Yeah, just watch their videos because they're absolutely awesome and inspiring. And that is pretty much it. So I hope to see you guys very soon on my next video.